How do we design cities to support human health and well-being? What would a healthy house look like? Or a school? An office block? Or even a whole neighbourhood? We're trying to find answers to these questions in our research. We're working with governments, industry and other universities to understand the relationships between people, buildings and the environment. Take schools for example. Children and teachers spend a lot of their time inside, so the quality of the air they breathe really matters. The healthier the air, the less risk of respiratory disease. Local governments around the country wanted to know how to improve air quality. So the Bartler and its partners co-created the School Design Group to explore the problem. We worked with 50 schools in London to understand what contributes to a good or bad indoor air quality and produced a report for the Mayor of London's office. The Mayor has announced a £1 million fund to help the worst affected schools. We used the research to co-create new guidelines for the building design industry and for improving indoor air quality in schools using natural ventilation, which have been translated into 22 European languages. And the School Design Group? Today, it has more than 10,000 members worldwide. But it's not just poor air quality that creates health risks. High indoor temperatures do too. In fact, overheating in buildings is the second most important climate change risk facing the UK. The Bartlett's complex built Environment Systems Group has modelled the heat and energy performance of buildings so we can predict how being exposed to excess indoor temperatures can affect human health. There are 2,000 heat-related deaths every year. This is projected to rise to 5,000 by 2050 if no action is taken. The research has helped the UK government understand these risks and how to do something about them. Today, it's reflected in national policy and progress is being made on a new building standard to reduce the risk of overheating in new homes so that they're well insulated for winter while not overheating in the summer because we believe healthy cities create healthy citizens. We're working with our research partners to help build a better future.